hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we will learn in this video how to perform metadata cleanup on domain servers uh, so before go ahead just I want to uh, request you please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it please subscribe and uh, click on bell icon so that new upcoming videos you can get in your uh, YouTube inbox directly and uh, if possible please share with your friends so let's start now this is my uh, ad server domain server and this is ad adc server so suppose if your uh, ad means if your domain controller if your domain server is crashed and you have to perform metadata cleanup then uh, i will show you how you ha you can perform metadata cleanup metadata cleanup is required to perform because uh, we have to remove all uh, entries of crashed server so this is AD, my ad server means domain server i will show you uh, this host name is ad you can see here and uh, if you want you can also check how many roles fsm roles existing on this server netdom query fsmo so you can see here uh, ad.itpoliva.lan so all these five roles are uh, existing here means this is the domain server and we have ADC server but uh, there is no any rules as of now on ADC server so suppose if your domain server is crashed and you have to ready one new domain server means AD and you have to perform domain uh, you have to perform uh, metadata cleanup so what you will do uh, as your domain controller domain server is crashed means your active directory primary domain is crashed so in this case what I'm going to do here just I'm going to disable this server okay so we can do one more thing either you can disable your network and IC card or just you can uh, shut down this server so what will assume we assume that this server this ad, uh, AD server is crashed and now we have to ready one new and before uh, ready one new server we have to clear metadata cleanup we have to run metadata cleanup so this is the you know uh, adc server so as we have already shut down our ad server means uh, this is crashed and now we will perform metadata cleanup on adc just open server manager tools active directory users and computers so there is two way uh, to perform meta attack enough one is uh, from GUI mode means graphical user interface mode that is uh that is for that that can be performed from here so and another one is anti ds util means through command based 
so uh, as this video will be uh, too long if I will explain how to perform meta data cleanup through command so I will explain uh, to perform meta data cleanup through command in my next videos but as of now I am trying to show you how you can perform through GUI mode so if you go in domain control you can see here there is two uh, server that is AD1 and uh, AD so our AD is crashed and we have to perform metadata cleanup so in metadata cleanup what we'll do we'll remove the entries second thing AD1 is my ADC server I will show you guys I want to uh, explain each and everything in detail so maybe this video will be long host name yes so my this is ad server and uh, the host name is ad1 so we'll remove we'll delete entry from here yes you can see uh, delete this domain control anyway it is permanently offline and can no longer be removed using the removal wizard so you can just select it and delete now this is the confirmation message this active directory domain control is a global catalog and do you want to continue with this deletion so just we have to click yes okay okay so it is deleted from here and now go to active directory sites and services this server is a little bit slow yes so just expand sites and uh, you have to check if any uh, entry is existing on if any entry existing here of AD server that is crashed IP SMTP not default first site name subnets basically the entry in IP SMTP and subnet is uh, in this in this uh, options there is no any entry of domains the entries of domain servers are here default for site name go to server you can see here AD and AD1 so as we have to remove ad that is crashed so just delete it from here now the ad1 is here that is adc server now we'll remove entries from dns so basically we have to remove these entries from uh, active directory users and computers sites and services and from DNS forward lookup zone msdcs itparivar.lan you have to check if any entry is existing here so you can see here I edit.itparivar.lan what you can do you can uh, just right click on msdcs dot what what is whatever your uh, domain name in my case it, it is itparivar.lan go to properties 
go to name server and you can see here ad.itpreview.lan and ad1.itpreview.lan so just remove it from here and click edit and resolve it ok apply ok so from uh, most of the entries uh, from the he from these options like DC domain GC and all these up these subfolders all these from all the these objects AD entry will be automatically removed you can see here I have not removed from here but I have just I have removed from here means by going to properties and removing name server that is AD that that, that is crashed so after removing from there it will be removed from here also but uh, we have to check each and uh, every sites most of the entries will be removed if will remove from properties name server but we need to verify if any entries not removed there is no any entry only ad1 gc sites default first sites name only ad1 server entries is here tcp only ad1 pdc tcp ad1 it forever dot lan maybe entry will be found here no there is no any ad entry there is only ad1 that is adc server msdcs sites ok it's msdcs yes it is here ad dot it forever dot lan just remove it from here remove it and if your AD server is not here just after removing just you can add it you can add it later ok sites TCP ok only AD1 entry is here TCP only AD1 server entries here that is ADC only AD1 entries yes here the host name host A record is here so need to verify you have to be very clear you have to remove only the entries of that server which is crashed ip config so this server ip is 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. that is adc server that means adc server ip is 10.10.1 so you can remove it from here means whatever your uh, AD server IP that is crashed you, you need to remove it from here sites default first sites TCP yes remove it from here TCP AD server remove it from here again I am uh, saying AD1 is my ADC server 
and AD server is scratched so we are removing AD entries AD server entries for zone AD server entry IP was 10.10.9 .10 so we will remove it from here yes make sure uh, any objects any folder should not be skip you need to check one by one ad remove it delete it from here tcp ad delete it from here reverse lookup zone 10 dot 10 dot 10 ad dot it ad1 no this one is need to remove it remove and resolve it yes okay AD remove, remove it from here yes so there is no any uh, AD entry all entries are AD1 and rest of the client machines now need to check in trust point conditional forwarders so as I have not configured any conditional forwarders so guys uh, now we have removed all uh, entries from here means from DNS console also so in this case we we can perform meta data cleanup from uh, GUI mode and uh, now uh, as uh, we have removed all entries from active directory users and computers from domain controller object and from active directory sites and services and from dns uh, console entries so now you can uh, ready one new server and uh, uh, transfer siege and transfer roles from uh, here from adc server to new one new uh, ad server so guys uh, you can uh, perform the metadata cleanup in this way through gui mode for uh, command breast uh, means through command uh, how we can remove uh, or how we can perform metadata cleanup on domain servers i will uh, create new videos as soon as possible and uh, upload please subscribe my channel like and share with your friends thank you bye bye